September zipile ne moyake. I'm 30 years old currently. I've been teaching for the past nine, maybe even ten years. Um, what drew me to teaching was the um, ability to see um, change happening in a, in, in a student uh, when they were exposed or if they're exposed to uh, somebody who uh, comes to them as um, a teacher who is able to, to guide them, um, to be able to have some kind of involvement in, in their lives. And um, I really appreciate that position because it's, um, it's an important uh, position to be in as um, it, um, it can shape a young person's life um, so that they can perhaps make better choices um, or even to broaden their perspective. So teaching for me has uh, been that kind of journey where I've been exposed to how change can happen if you're exposed to the right kinds of um, discourses and, and so I, f I felt, I suppose, not, although it wasn't probably a conscious decision, I felt that um, this is something that's, that's really important because um, of the ability to be able to, to, open, um, to open up a young, a young person's perspective so that they, they are able to negotiate uh, through life from a position where they have choices. I think ultimately that's that's what that's what drew me to to be a teacher. The day I I think I decided that I wanted to become a teacher was when I was watching um, an episode of Iso Iso Two. And um, the protagonist, or the character there, was in, in the lecture hall. Um, and it was, a, I think, at Bits University. And I remember my hair standing on end when they were discussing um, writers uh, like Chinua Achebe. And I thought, I, I, I want to be in, in a position where I would have been able to, or rather where I would be able to, um, to speak on, on on anything that's pedagogical or that's teaching related um, because it really inspired me. I, I had the choice of, of doing um, um, commerce and accounting as um, I was also good in mathematics and, and accounting but then I chose my passion um, for I suppose literature over and above um, the, the commercial side of things and, and ultimately um, I think that choice, uh, which was from that episode, and perhaps even the kind of background that I come from, because my grandfather was a teacher, but it wasn't really, you know, I wasn't really exposed to his teaching, in, you know, in the sense that he tutored me or anything like that, but that was his profession in these days, and uh, perhaps um, I may have taken something from him, but I think the day I had decided to become a teacher was when I watched that episode and it really spoke to it really spoke to me in ways that um, I hadn't you know been spoken to before. Teaching wasn't um, a clear choice the day I decided to share the, the news with my family. Um, I was uh, I was drawn to the idea of lecturing more than than teaching but I suppose both professions um, are actually very similar because lecturers do teach and um, I eventually then um, with uh, having joined a, a non-governmental organization in Soweto uh, began to, to, to teach and began to invest time in developing myself as a teacher and being able to, to try and uh, shape uh, young minds um, so so the day I had made the decision um, also wasn't really, I suppose, um, something that I, I went home with and said, okay, this is what I want to do. It, it was really um, uh, 
events of coincidence which coincided and then I eventually also because of my momentum and because of the trajectory that I had always had within me um, almost uh, catapulted into teaching um, um, gradually and then eventually um, it became a love and it became a passion and, and then I saw myself as a teacher uh, in the field um, as the years as the years went on as, as time went on and so it was it was that kind of um, journey or that kind of um, that kind of uh, um, occurrence uh, it, it, it wasn't really you know clear cut in that it was step A, step B, step C and you're arguably or you're going to become a teacher in this way that like I'm a teacher right now. So it was, like I said, it was those uh, coincidences which um, culminated and then uh, they propelled me eventually to become um, a teacher. He makes himself to appear to have when he to be wearing glasses. The woman makes herself to appear and imagine the person is less than one day. Alright, very good. So don't just say the lady's appearance is complicated because you haven't told us anything, right? So the woman appears to be a a non eater, but she eats a lot. Eats a lot, right? Uh, where are you later? For chamber. That is Mr. Moyake. Yes, he's a young teacher, energetic, committed, a work hard, hard working person, and we have appreciated having him in this institution. I'm of the view that is why we're having you today is because of Tender. He has contributed immensely in terms of e-learning in this institution. That is why then he was even selected as one of the top, you know, achievers in terms of the e-learning. He came and changed the whole language pre uh, presenting in class because we find it instead of just talking, talking, we find it the teacher will demonstrate if he is doing poems, will show, listen, learners will listen, they come with videos, and then learners are interested in the, in the language. He's a very active teacher. He always wants to see things happening, especially as since technology is up there, so he wants to see everyone involved. It's very cool to be a teacher. Uh, I always compare it to uh, being God. Uh, teaching is the vocation of the gods because um, you do so much as a teacher. You're called on to do so many things, to be sensitive, to be thoughtful, to be, uh, to be knowledgeable, to be a mentor, to be uh, a health physician sometimes, to you're called on to basically answer the prayer and um, students, you know, when they do approach you with their problems, it's almost as if you're in a, a godly position without necessarily um, being sacrilegious. Um, I, 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 I always compare teaching for me to, you know, to being like a god, you know, if not being god, to being like a god because it's it's such a um, such a powerful position to be in, like to be in you know, uh, because you have so many things which you need to do and um, you need to provide the magic you need to provide the miracle you need to provide the like I said you know the the answers to the to the prayers and and so it's it's very it's a very beautiful and miraculous uh, advent because you you have to perform that on a day to day basis, and you have to switch characters uh, and be dynamic. You know, as a teacher, you can't just be uh, you can't just rely on one angle or one lens. So, so I, I think it's it's pretty much like being um, someone who. Is, is knowledge was like being Google, you know, because you, you're called on to 
to know all of these things and um, and so I, I think it's it's pretty cool to be a teacher if you think about it from that perspective where you are a producer of of, of, of knowledge and 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 everything else you know uh, it's not just being a producer of, of knowledge but also you're you're learning in the process and you are you are engaging students in ways that you wouldn't have been able to engage them prior to you know having been in that vocation because it requires so much of you. Um, it requires a lot of you.